it or not, stars are very much like humans. I mean, they're born, they live a relatively long life, and they eventually die. But even in death, stars still manage to be spectacular. It's bizarre. It's weird. What scientists describe to possibly be the strangest stellar objects in the universe. It's a neutron star. So, how is it formed? And why do scientists claim that its insides are made of pasta? You see, a star has to be between 8 to 20 times the mass of our sun to form a neutron star. Anything less will end up in a white dwarf, and anything more will end up as a black hole. So, it has to be just right. Stars generally survive because of a delicate balance called hydrostatic equilibrium, where its internal pressure created by nuclear fusion balances out the immense forces of gravity, trying to crush it into smithereens. Eventually, those stars run out of fuel and can't create enough outward pressure, so gravity gets the upper hand and starts compressing it. In lower mass stars, its core supports itself via electron degeneracy pressure, which is as a result of a rule in quantum mechanics that says no two fermions can be in the same place at the same time with the same energy. So basically, electrons hate each other. I know, right? So much negativity. In higher mass stars, though, this rule is completely defied. Why? Because Newton's second law suggests that the higher the mass of an object, the higher the gravitational force acting on it. So, this intense force of gravity causes protons to start fusing to electrons to form neutrons. Remember, fermions hate each other, so these neutrons violently halt the collapse, generating nature's most spectacular explosion, a supernova, which leaves behind a neutron star just about 20 kilometers in diameter. Alright, we get it. They're dead stars, but why should we care anyway? Using NICER and gravitational wave observatories LIGO and Virgo, researchers now know more about neutron stars. Remember this? Why do scientists claim that its insides are made of pasta? Yeah, this is why. In the crust of neutron stars, scientists believe that atoms get squashed so tightly that protons and neutron stars arrange themselves into pasta shapes. From spaghetti rods to lasagna sheets, nuclear pasta could be the strongest material in the universe. Neutron stars are also very dense. So dense that a sugar cube of neutronium will weigh about 1 billion tons on Earth. Imagine a spinning ice skater. As she pulls her arms in, her speed increases due to the conservation of angular momentum. This is also true for neutron stars, which spin faster as they get smaller. Some special neutron stars called pulsars eject radiation beams across space like a lighthouse. Other neutron stars called magnetars have magnetic fields so strong that they could wipe off the data of every credit card on Earth. But don't worry though, they're too distant to do that. Even though they're not as famous as their cousins black holes, neutron stars are probably the origin of many of the heavy elements in our universe today. There's still much we don't know about them, but without them, our modern technological world will probably cease to exist today.